hi. <laughs> this is a continuation of my art news videos. Uh, hope you're liking these. Please remember to like and share and subscribe, please, because I'm trying to build this channel so that I can start doing some live streams when I'm painting in my studio or when I'm creating works digitally on my computer. So it'd be nice to share that with you all and uh, chat with you while we're doing it and have some fun. Maybe have a glass of wine while we're doing it. But anyway, let's get to the art news because there's some funny stuff going on. Uh, one thing that's not funny that I, I do think is really cool that I saw um, online in the art news newspaper app thing that I have that's I get most of my articles from there and it's really good but there's a, a group of art galleries in Austin Texas about six of them that join together to create a joint collectors circle and they're bringing in some of their uh, most frequent and best clients to join this group and do things together uh, socially like gallery walkthroughs or maybe a printmaking class or something like that and uh, I think that's a great idea for um, people to do socially that have common interests especially collectors in the art world and um, I just think that's a, a great idea bravo to you Austin art galleries I think art galleries in Every market should be considering this as an option because I think it's a really good idea. But um, then I'm going to go next to <laughs> this is really funny. You're going to love it. <laughs> this is so funny. There was a, a man who lives in um, Seaside, California, and uh, he had his uh, boat parked in his driveway on the side of his house. And so the city contacted him and told him that he needed to put up a fence. Um, blocking, you know, view of the boat from the street, and that if he didn't comply, they were going to fine him and all this stuff like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, uh, he put up the fence all right um, on, along his driveway, you know, in front of the boat, and then he hired uh, a neighbor, friend of his, who's an artist who paints murals, to uh, paint a realistic mural on the fence of the boat sitting in his driveway. <laughs> so he complied. He did what they told him. He put up the fence. But then he, <laughs> you can still see the boat because it's painted on the fence. <laughs> really funny. I just thought that was really good. <laughs> anyway, um, and uh, probably the leading headline today in the, uh, the art newspaper, um, that uh, the artist named Bansky, you may have heard of him, he's become famous as like a street artist and he does all kinds of stuff, but he had created an inflatable boat artwork and uh, uh, in Glastonbury to highlight the migrant crisis. And um, the UK Home Secretary and other right-wing politicians in um, the country uh, branded the artwork as vile and unacceptable and um, it had, the boat was full of dummies of migrants. <laughs> and it was unveiled at the Glastonbury Music Festival. It's a huge music, music festival that's done every year. And uh, he posted pictures of it on Instagram and everything like that. Well, after they called it vile and <laughs> unacceptable and over the top, according to Bansky, um, they, um, they like uh, detained his boat or whatever. Um, so anyway, so he's fighting back on that. <laughs> you know, artists usually have a good sense of humor and <laughs> doing things like this. And you know, quite frankly, I think that's the role of artists in society. Um, great artists uh, typically uh, create works of art about uh, the events that are going on in the world at that time. So they're social commentary. Um, they are created to make people think a little bit about what's happening. And I'm sure that Bansky wanted uh, people who viewed this work and images of this work to consider the migrant crisis. You know, what's going on. A lot of politicians, unfortunately, will, you know, 
raise up and get all riled up and want to like you know create legislation to you know prevent you know migration and block migrants and um, you know expel them from the country and do all this without actually considering why it's happening I mean why are these people leaving their countries I don't have an answer for that is there something else I can help with <laughs> no thanks shut up <laughs> My speaker's <laughs> asking <laughs> if it can help me with find an answer to that question. <laughs> but no, anyway, uh, so artists do that typically. They just, I mean, they're, the point of great art is to make people think. And um, I think people should be thinking about those types of things. It's like, uh, like war. You know, I'm anti-war. I think it's, uh, I mean, you do have to defend yourself, of course, because there's always going to be somebody wanting to, you know, attack you or something like that. So you have to have proper defense, but you should always be striving for peace and find peaceful solutions. If there are people in the world who, you know, want to attack you, well, you should be asking, first of all, after you've, you know, set up proper defense, ask yourself, why? Why are they wanting to attack us? And let's have a discussion about that with those people. You know, what are they unhappy about? You know, is there something that we can all do and work together to create a peaceful and happy resolution to the situation? So that's just my opinion on, you know, art and what great art should be about. So I like to keep my videos short, so this one's going to be a short one again. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you especially to all my Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash yourartdude, where we have dedicated chat for different uh support levels. Uh, you can even support me for free. You don't have to pay for anything. You can if you want, but you don't have to. And there is a dedicated chat for free uh, subscribers and supporters so that we can talk about art and talk about the videos that I make and the artwork that I make and the podcast that I make and, you know, connect with each other like we're supposed to do as people. Anyway, have a great week.